All right, we have our first assignment, which is to display a particular employee's information. So far in our application that is created with this run method, we are able to respond to the get method. And for this get method, we just simply get all of the employees and list them out in a, an ordered list. So what if we have another requirement? which is to retrieve the information for a particular employee. How do we know which employee? We can supply that as a query string and then retrieve the information from our in-memory data store and display that in our web page as HTML. So that's our first assignment. I hope you can go back and work on that yourself. The tip is that you can use this if statement here and apply another if statement to try to see whether we have the query string supplied or not and respond to that result accordingly. Currently, this is our endpoint handling logic for get all of the employees and display all of the employees' information. We will have to have another endpoint handling logic that is separated by the if else statement. And that is for displaying the particular employee's information. So try to go back and work on that yourself. You can determine how much information should be displayed for that particular employee. And you can determine in what format you want to display that employee's information. Okay, I will see you in the next video where I'm going to show my solution to this assignment. See you in the next one.